Um, all right, I came up with this like in the last minute. If I weren't speaking, this would just edging me. So, um, so all right, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, hyphenated Americans today. And so, what do I mean by being a hyphenated American? I'm Indian American. Swaraj is Indian American. Toe was, I believe, Vietnamese American. What does that even mean? How do you be an Indian but an American at the same time? To me, I truly identify with the American part of it, uh, just like all the other immigrants here in this country. Uh, I came here in 1998, landed in uh, Liberty International Airport in Newark, uh, New Jersey. I was with my mom. Uh, she had never seen a skyscraper before. I just, I can't believe, uh, I can't imagine what she must have gone through going down I-95, you know, seeing the entire New York skyline and just thinking to herself that this is her future now. This is her son's future now. And, you know, she sacrificed, you know, her entire family there, her loving family that she grew up with her entire life for some promise. She didn't know if it was a false promise or whatever. She's, you know, read about it in the newspaper about America and, and that it's the land of the free and that there's a lot of opportunity there. But is it really? You know, you kind of end up going to, you know, your relative's house and you end up staying in a small apartment and it, it get, it's cold, you know, first of all. And it's really hard uh, adjusting to American society in the beginning. And this isn't just for Indians, but it's for any immigrants. And many of our parents come here today. And there's a lot of power in this. There's by being an immigrant, you are inherently American in a way. Just the struggle. I love these uh, rags riches stories. You know, these hustlers. They they come here. You know, the stories you hear. Oh, I came to Brooklyn with uh, twenty dollars in my pocket. Look at me today. You know, I own ten pharmacies, five gas stations. I love hearing stories like that because no matter if you're Latino, if you come from Mexico, if you're from India, if you're from South Africa, it doesn't matter. Here in America, you know, it doesn't matter uh, who you love, what, what your last name is, uh, you know, how, how you speak, none of that matters. It really, here in America, you can make it if you try. And that, to me, is the greatest thing ever. And with that in mind, I just have to say that I'm very proud to be who I am. I used to have an identity crisis about, you know, whether to choose between being an Indian because at home life is very different. And this is the same for, you know, Filipino Americans. I keep reiterating that because it is. Um, and, and this is what makes America America. It's, you know, being your brother's keeper, a greater American, um, a greater creed, if I may. Um, well, so, I don't have to identify with Indian culture or an American culture, but being an Indian in America would be an Indian American culture. What I'm trying to say here is that you don't ever have to choose between the two because that's inherently American. Thank you.